Hi Burp Squad, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Victoria Ryan. This is Popple's My Quaker Pears. And Yoshi, my yellow sided green cheek parakeet, also known as a conure, is flying around playing on his... Oh, well hi. Uh, speak of the devil. Nice of you to finally join us, sir. You want to say hi? <sighs> rude hey, burbs so i know why you're here you saw this title and you're probably sitting there going girl what the heck what this crazy girl is over here hypnotizing her burbs well there is a reason for this and i wanted to do this super short video first before my next one comes out next week as to why i do this and how i implement hypnotizing my birds in my everyday routine i want to keep this intro super short i don't want to keep you all hanging i know you want to see what the heck i'm talking about so let's just fly on into this video Good boy, Yoshi. Good job. Okay, so you probably saw that clip and go, okay, hold up. You're just putting your bird to sleep. Y'all have watched any of my videos at all with this spazbot right here. He is all over the place. He's constantly moving. His mind is da -da 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 all the time, okay? Like, do you ever see this guy sit still? No. So basically when I'm saying hypnotizing, you're teaching your bird to dig deep and find that calm state within himself. Every animal has the potential to be in a calm, submissive state. And with my birds, this is how I get them to do it. I actually stumbled upon this on accident. I was just kind of chilling with Yoshi one day. He's flying around. He was having one of those days where he would not calm down, okay? He didn't want to go back in his cage. You know how we all have those days, right, with our birds? Well, I was sitting there with Yoshi. He was flying around. I think it was my bathroom, actually. And I was sitting there, and I'm like, oh, my God, this bird's driving me nuts. How do I get him to calm down? Because I can't get him to do anything. He won't listen because his mind is dirt, 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 right? How it goes when your bird is just being a total spaz bot. So I thought, and it, and it just hit me all of a sudden. It was like an epiphany, if you will. I was like, oh, my gosh. What does the mama bird do when the babies are in the nest? She's on top of them, she's roosting them, she's keeping them safe, her body heat is keeping them warm, and they're in a calm state when their mom is there. So when I, th I thought, oh, why don't I, hi, why don't I implement this with Yoshi? It's all about being the mother of birds, okay? Her body heat is, of course, keeping the eggs warm. Um, they're all, like, in a real tight space. They're pretty much, I mean, they're practically smushing their babies, right? So I tried to implement this way of thinking with Yoshi. Yes, it's very similar to kind of towel training. You know how you wrap them up. But I like this approach so much better because I feel them. Like, I feel, and it is so strange, but you'll know what I mean when you try it, okay? When you wrap your hands around them, when they're all like, ah! Oh my god when they're definitely all over the place their mind is just crazy you feel it in their body okay so like when you wrap your hands around them like you can feel their muscles you feel them start to relax you feel his muscles just instantly just go from this 
to this like it is insane and you'll feel it in your hands and I feel like that's very important for us to understand our birds to feel them speak their language so when I did this to Yoshi I was like oh I think I'm onto something. When you first bring your bird into the bedroom, of course, have the lights dimmed, not completely dark, but just dim. Like, set the mood, if you will. Have a super calm. You can have white noise. You could probably hear in that clip that I had my air purifier on. It was just nice, light noise. It was just super calm to begin with. So when we went in there, I shut the door. I just sat down quietly on the bed, and I just had my hands wrapped around Yoshi. I kind of got a feel for what works with Yoshi what made him most comfortable and I noticed it was easiest when his little hands were in the palm of my hand like he sat in the palm of my hand and I just kind of caressed him like this and you can see that I put my fingers even over his head he can still somewhat see you know so he's aware of his surroundings and a mixture of my calm energy the environment being calm and my body heat made Yoshi feel safe and it it kind of and I'm not saying he remembers the day he was born but it kind of brought him back to a memory that feels familiar to him. Don't have any distractions, don't have any toys or treats in there either. We want them to naturally be calm and bring out that calm energy without the help of treats and toys. I'm a firm believer that every bird can find its calm state. It's just up to us to bring it out of them. When I made that little sound, it kind of like woke him up. I use this noise specifically because when I'm trying to get their attention, like if they're on their toys or their cage or whatever I'll just go I'll make that noise again to kind of get their attention and that's what they kind of link to so I know this was a super short video I just felt like I needed to do this first as like a little prequel to my next video and it will all make sense and I want you to see this and practice it first before you see how I implement this into my everyday activities my everyday routine with my birds it's very important that you learn how to calm your bird down so practice this find different ways but anyway burbs that is it from us today I hope that you enjoy this video and if you did don't forget to flap that like button don't forget to peck the subscribe button excuse me and don't forget to peck the subscribe button down below to become a member of the burb squad chirp at me and my socials both instagram and twitter are both at victoria ryan and if you're a gamer burb you can follow me on my twitch i stream tuesdays thursdays and sundays 8 30 p.m eastern standard time all right burbs that is it from us and i will see you all in my next video bye burb squad yoshi come over here and give mommy a kiss give mommy a kiss Oh, I love you.